Hi, in this video I've got another one-liner for you. This time we're going to decrement a value, so subtract one each time, and then loop round. So it's going to count down from, say, 10 down to zero, and then count down from 10 to zero again. And if you had this in a timer, you could have it go as many times as you like. We're going to use a loop, so we're just limited by the values we put in the loop. So we'll start with a variable, we'll just call it value, and this is just going to store the value that we're displaying. We'll have a loop for i equals zero, i is less than oh, 20, let's say, so it's going 20 values, i plus plus. And then we're going to write value equals parentheses 10 minus 1, so that's the decrement, plus the current value, and then outside of the parentheses mod 10. And this 10 that we're getting here is basically half of the uh, sort of maximum number. So if, if I actually set this loop to just go to 10, all we're going to see it do is count down from 9 to 0, so 10 values. So if I so if I console print value, we'll see it goes 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. But if I change this to 20, and we'll clear the console, so it's going to do it twice. It will count down from 9 to 0, and then do the same thing again. So there we go. 9 down to 0 and then 9 down to 0. And again, if I change this to 30, it will do it three times. So 9 down to 0, 9 all the way down to 0, and then again. Now if you're doing this in a timer, in fact let's do it in a timer, it will just uh, do it continuously until uh, you tell it to stop. So let's uh, create a timer, const t equals engine.createTimer, t.set uh, timer callback, function and then all we have to do is put this uh, actually both these lines inside the timer we get rid of our loop we don't need that anymore and then we can just do t dot start timer hopefully highs won't crash because um well we'll see won't we and we'll run this at half a second we'll just uh clear the console out there Okay, and let's hit F5, and it should just continually uh, count down from 9 to 0. So there we go, that's just going to run until the timer is stopped. So I'm just going to comment out this uh, line there and hit F5, so that will stop that running. Okay, so nice little one-liner. This is one of those things that uh, can be used for animations in panels and any sort of repeated action where you, you want to have um, a number counting down. Oh, by the way, if you want it to count down from a different number, so you want it to count down from 20, you just change these two values here, and now it will count down from 20, or, or 19 down to zero, so 20 values. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you found it useful. I'll see you next time.